What's up guys? My name is Emily. My name is Amanda. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Today, we are in 607, had to check that out, 607 feet of water, dropping deep, deep, deep down into the depths. We're hoping, what are we hoping to catch? Well, we're hoping to catch tilefish, we're hoping to catch snowy groupers. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we could see snow in Florida, it would be wow. a good day. That would be crazy. But we really don't know what's down there. We're gonna find out. We're gonna put some squids down on the bottom and see what bites. <laughs> If you don't have a boat with a plug, and today's boat does not have a plug, we're going to use alligator clips and attach them straight to our batteries. It's super simple. We bought this cord. It came with alligator clips. Come down here, and let's take a tour of the bilge. Into the bilge we go. Into the bilge we go. First, so black is negative, red is positive. Black on black, red on red. So if I look at my battery right here, we're going to do this one. Just like that. Perfect. Time to drop to the bottom. We're gonna see what's down there in the depths of this beautiful blue ocean. Just like look at it. Look, like, this look at how nice and flat it is. Look at how today. beautiful it is today. The water is so clean and blue. The sky, the cloud. look how puffy the clouds are. It's a beautiful day out here, hoping, hoping, hoping to catch to something, catch something cool. cool. Yes, <laughs> these numbers that we're actually fishing are commercial tilefish numbers that a friend of ours was nice enough to give us. So we're really excited. Hopefully the tiles are around. We had a bite. We had a bite. We had a bite. Okay, back on the bottom. Back on the bottom. Missed him. I think while we wait for a bite, it is twin truth time. Okay, what Amanda. is today's twin truth? I can't, I gotta, I gotta watch the rod tip though, so you gotta help me tell this story. All right, I'll help tell the story. Okay. What is the longest amount of time we've been apart? Oh, this is a good one. And did we like it? Okay, okay. the longest amount of time we've been apart? Two, two weeks. weeks. Two? Two whole weeks. Yep. Apart. Did we like it? I did. You did? Did you like it? I don't think I really like cared. It wasn't anything crazy. It wasn't this, I mean, of course we missed each other. Well, of course, I mean, I don't know. It's like when you're always with somebody, it's actually kind of nice sometimes to have space. Right. Because we don't get it that often, but we get along really well. So it's not like I was like, oh, I'm so happy that we're apart for two right, weeks. Right, exactly. But I think being apart for two weeks was actually really not that bad. It really but I felt like it wasn't any direction. It wasn't really hard or really great. It was just like, there have Fine. been times though, like I remember you were sick once yeah. for like a week. I was going insane. I was so bored. I wanted to go fishing. I wanted to go film videos. Yeah. I was dying. But that's different because that wasn't planned. Like if it's planned, okay, I'm going here for two weeks. Then it's kind of expected. This, and the other twins like, okay, and then the other twin will have plans and hang out with right. friends or something. But when, if like, I remember that actually, kind of recently, I got sick. Don't worry guys, it was not COVID. And I was down for- You even got tested. I did get tested. I was out for probably two weeks. Yeah, you're up for It was just a sinus, a sinus infection. infection. And I remember she was dying. She was like, do you feel better yet? Can do we you go feel better fishing? Yet? Do you want to go fishing with me? Yeah. Two, two weeks. And two weeks, and I would say we probably did enjoy it a little bit. A little bit. Definitely nice to have some space. Definitely nice. Drift number one. No luck. No luck. Nothing but squid coming back to us. Do we have all of our squids? Let's see. We have every single we have every squid. squid. So that spot, those numbers did not work. We're going to have to redo our drift, try a different area, and hopefully we can find the fish. All right, guys, you see that boat driving away? The craziest thing just happened. Oh what just gosh. happened? Look at, oh, look at, look at this. Wow, such friendly people. Friendly people. So okay. they came over to us. We were deep dropping and we were like not getting bites. So like, let's just reel this up and try a different area. And then that boat from the distance starts 
approaching us. We're like, they're coming up to us. What are they doing? Is this sketchy? I don't know. And then they were like, hey, we caught a lot of mahis and we really don't want all of them. Do you want them? And we're like, um, sure. <laughs> and then so we pull up and he's like, here. And he passes this bucket to me and he goes, keep the bucket. I don't even need the bucket. Keep it all. It's all for you. I was like, wow, thank you so much. And they were super friendly. He was like, really? Have a blessed day. This is for you. Just enjoy it. It was just so friendly. The nicest people. Wow. Wow. Like, wow, that's so, I'm so touched. My that faith is so in nice. humanity is restored. Wow. Thank you. I never even got your name. If you ever see this video, thank you for the mahi. That was so friendly of you. We really appreciate it. I think I'm more excited about the bucket than the mahis. Right? We needed another bucket. We did. Let's get these wow. fish on ice. All right, so nice. Another surprise for the day. We have a rainstorm coming our way. I think we got to move spots. We're going to move spots because last time we were out here, we got stuck in a really bad rainstorm and it was not enjoyable. So let's get moving and try this area. Spot number two. Location number two. Drop number, well, drop number one at location number two, but it's drop number two total. Is this also a commercial spot? I believe these are all commercial spots. I believe spots. these are all commercial spots. We're giving them a try. Hopefully we find them and we get new numbers for our personal catalog of fishing spots. And hopefully, I think we're okay now. Hopefully we outran the storm. The storm's gone. The storm's gone. So hopefully no other storms form and we can dedicate some time to this spot. Yes. And we want to dedicate time to this spot. See what's down there. See if there's tile fish. I'm trying to think. There's piles, snow. Um, what else? Rosies, rosies for red. There could be roses down there. There could be snow down there. And then what's the next one? Blue lines. I know, but I need. I know. Color. I'm thinking. Um, okay, let me know what you guys think. So roses are for rose, rosy fish. Snow is for snowy grouper. That's bottom. And blue line tile fish. What can it be? So roses, snow, and blue. Something blue. blue. And uh, something else. That's what we're looking for. Any of those, and we'd be happy. We're getting bites. We're getting nibbles. Getting nibbles. There's something down there. Amanda's feeding him. I'm feeding them She's because feeding them. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It could be rosies with tinier mouths. It could be tile fish. It could be snow. I mean, we don't know. So I just want to be smart about this. Let's see if he's still on there. Oh yeah, he's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. He is there. Way to go. Don't leave me hanging. Blue line, snow, or rose. Honestly, one vote for blue line. Oh, you're blue line? I'm blue line. I was gonna say rosy. It didn't seem like it was fighting very hard. Okay. I hope you're right. I hope I'm right too. I'm thinking blue line. It's hard to notice, but if you watch the way the rod's moving, there's an interruption in the bouncing. It'll be a little bouncy. So it's like bounce, bounce, and like think, bounce, bounce, think, think, and that's the stick on there. See, ready? There it is. It's a little bouncy. A little bouncy. I am so excited. I am so excited. I'm being at the blue line. Blue line tile fish. Blue line tile fish. Ten more meters. You ready to reel, Amanda? I'm ready to reel. I'm ready for the hardest part of the day. <laughs> reel, reel, reel. Let's see what we see. It is... Oh, it's a ro It's a rosy. It's a good sized rosy. Okay, hold the camera, Amanda. Let's check this rosy out. We got a rosy. Look at that. It's a decent sized rosy, though, that's for sure. Nice one. Hold the fish. I'm gonna hold the fish. Ooh, that one's all lit up. Look at how lit up this fish is. This is a... Oh. What? Whoa. What is it? I don't know. I think it's is the it sea sand? floor. I think it's the sea floor. It's sand! It's sand! Guys, hold on. Have you ever seen the bottom of the ocean 600 feet down? Probably not. And it just came off of this fish. This fish brought sand up. So it's brown sand. Brown sand it's down there. pretty coarse too, honestly. Yeah, it is. It's very, it's definitely sand. It's like rocks. Yeah, it's, it's like, like pieces rocks. of rock. Wow. Right. Beautiful black belly rose fish. Look at how lit up he is. He's got Orange, a lot of Orange, yellow. Thanks, dude. We're gonna release this fish, guys. We've caught quite a few rosies before, and he will swim away. These things are strong. 
There, there he goes. goes. He just kicked. Down he swims. Nice. We got to we got to see the sea floor. That's crazy. That was cool. We got another fish on. We got another fish on. This one's fighting harder. Is that anything? I think so. I'm really hoping it's something good. Fish number two. Moment of truth. Drop. It, I don't see any orange again, but last time I didn't see orange and it was a rosy. I see orange. Oh boy, yeah, it's orange. It's orange. It's a rosy! It's not a rosy! There's lots of rosies here, guys. We found a rosy spot. Well, we didn't find it. Somebody gave us a rosy spot and they said it was a blue line, a commercial blue line tile fish spot. Well, but tile fish live with rosies. You're right, they do. The There's rosies the are rosy. just with fighting fish. Another Look black belly rose fish. These guys are so lit up. They're so pretty. That's just I love crazy. Them. I love them. I love the way these fish look. They are so cool. You know, I have a, I have a bed. Okay, so we now know there's rosies down there. Yes. Do you think that we can get a full stringer of rosies? Can we catch five, five rosies at one time? Can we do time? five rosies at one time? That's what we're going to go for. Okay, so we know there's rosies. We're going to try and catch five at one time. Guys, if you ever catch black belly rose fish, this meat is absolutely delicious. Highly, highly recommend you eat it, you fillet it up. However, we have a lot of fish in our freezer, so I'm gonna let them live to swim another day. Ready, Rosie? You ready, little dude? All right, swim. I know you're feisty. Go, oh, there you go. Swimming away. Down he goes, they go straight down. They're like, I'm going home. Five fish gold. Five fish gold. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. One, two, three, four, five. Bye. You got a bite. Got a bite. You got a bite. You there? Oh yeah, he's there. Oh, yeah, he's there. He's there. He's there. Okay, okay, that's one. That is one. That is one. So now I'm dropping my bait back down to the bottom to try to catch two, then three, then four. The hard part though is since I already know I have a fish on, I'm gonna see the action from my fish that's already on. So it's gonna be hard to know when the second, third, fourth, and fifth fish bites. Okay, the first one's the easiest one. Now it's guesswork. <laughs> yeah, now it's guesswork. Now let's leave it down there. See if you see any dramatic change. Hit the lever. Hope it's a second fish. Hope it's a second fish. Then do it again. Hope it's a third fish. Hope do it's again. a fourth fish. Keep going. Hope it's a fifth fish. That's what we're going to do. You think that's the second fish? Could be. Hit the lever. Fish number two? I don't know. I don't know either. I'm just gonna leave this down there for extra, extra long and see if I can get like three, four, and five on there. I mean, they're rosies. They like to live on the bottom. So we just gotta like say, hey, come hang out with me. Like they, they wanna hang out with their friends. Fish are curious creatures though. They are. I truly think that. Some people think that when you have a fish hook, sorry, I guess, I'm trying to multitask here. Some people think that when you have a fish hooked, that it spooks the other fish. But I personally disagree. I think fish are curious well, and they come to check it out. And I actually have friends that say that um, some people think that when you do get a bite, um, the fish get curious. So it's, it goes both ways. Yeah, they're like, hey, what you doing over there? Hmm, that looks interesting. I'm gonna try it too. And then they try it too. <laughs> they're swimming up looking, hmm, you're stuck on that. Are you stuck or is it tasty? I'm gonna taste it. And it's like, oh boy, I'm stuck too. We are bringing it we're up. We're bringing it up and we're going to see how many fish are on our rig. Okay, here we go. Check it out. It's fighting a decent amount, so it definitely tells me there's more than one. There's definitely more than one or there's a nice fish. Right. It's either multiple rosies or one really nice fish. I see color. Oh. We got something oh, we do. We have a blue line tile fish. Okay, Amanda. Okay, I don't care that we didn't catch five fish because we caught our tile fish. Blue and line tile All fish. I wanted today. Check it out. That's a nice size blue line as well. Look at this, guys. Blue line. Let's get them off the hook, guys. We got two out of five fish. So we have one rosy and one blue line. But in my opinion, that blue line makes up for the blue fish. That blue line makes up. Yes, I agree. Or at least it counts. Does this fish count for four? Let's, I, I vote yes. I vote yes too. What do you guys vote? You guys Should our blue line tile fish count for a bunch of fishies or count for just one? We've already caught, you, we've made a video before catching a golden tile fish. 
and this time we caught a blue line tilefish and you can see that the blue line is just like also known as gray tilefish guys because they're just gray fish but the blue line is the blue line under their eye right there and they also have they have blue accent on their gill and on their fin i don't know if you guys can see the yeah, colors in the sun they're very pretty fish and the meat is delicious absolutely delicious the only, the biggest difference between blue line and goldens is the blue line obviously like the way they look but also the water depth so we're fishing in 600 feet of water so typically you'll catch blue lines in a little bit shallower and goldens you want to catch like 800 a thousand today we specifically targeted blue lines took us a little bit to find him but we did find our blue line tile fish look at that that is your blue line tile fish very delicious meat, tastes like crab, just like golden tile fish. Caught a little bit shallower, same technique. Beautiful fish, guys. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead, make sure you subscribe and like. That really helps us out to help you out. We can make more videos. It's an awesome time for everybody. Go ahead, follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks, guys.